Yeah. Uh, do, do you expect there to be calls from within the Trump campaign to do that? Um, because he's going to reach out to his uh, supporters and say, let's take this down. Uh, but do you expect to hear anything from the Trump campaign about toning down the rhetoric? Of course! The Democrats and the media have given the go ahead to take Trump out. They have been on an eight year long propaganda campaign to call Trump literally Hitler, who's an existential threat and will end America if he's elected president. It didn't take a psychic to understand this was being done to rationalize extreme actions. And I've been predicting for years that this would be the result. But in Democrat controlled America, reality is what they tell you. And they are never judged by the standards they judge their political opponents. I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes. So when there's repeated violence against the Democrats' political opponents, it's always because they asked for it. So seriously, every time there's violence against Republicans, the media claims that it was their rhetoric that led to it. So check out this clip, then I'm gonna show you how Kamala Harris responded, because it is mind-blowingly insane. But do you expect to hear anything from the Trump campaign about toning down the rhetoric, toning down the violence, or would that be atypical? of uh, the former president. What? Well, Alex, remember back to the assassination attempt on President Trump's life and how, you know, there was talk of a new tone and then the, re the Republican convention was by Trumpian standards muted and it did seem like he was, you know, just trying to take it down a few notches, but then by the end of his convention speech, you know, we were kind of back to where uh, we started. So. I don't know how long this could, you know, this moment of unity for the country where we come together and we say, I don't want any political opposition to be under threat of violence. It's not, okay, any threat of violence, you know, we don't want. I, I would love for us to have a unity type moment, but I think it's probably gonna be pretty fleeting as we've seen in the past. <laughs> not surprised and what makes it even worse is that they've been blaming trump all weekend for alleged bomb threats that have been made against hospitals and schools in springfield ohio which makes absolutely no sense why in the world would people upset about an immigration policy send bomb threats to hospitals and schools literally the only people that helps are the democrats and media who then use it to tar their political opponents this isn't even a new thing back when a democrat bernie supporter shot at a bunch of republican congressmen playing playing baseball while screaming, this is for healthcare, the media told us that it wasn't their fault, it was actually because of Trump's rhetoric. Do you think that the press is the greatest enemy of the US? Uh, well, I'm a conservative and I'm a Republican. Certainly the news media, particularly at the national level, is a challenge for us who hold conservative beliefs. Sure, but the but greatest enemy, would you call us, would you ever call States? CNN an enemy? No. Yeah. But Antifa chuds literally attack an ICE facility with guns and bombs after AOC and the media called them concentration camps. It's still somehow not their fault. It's just... It's different. What's even more insane is that Kamala Harris tweeted out that she was glad he's okay. What? You quite literally call him an existential threat to this country on a regular basis. What exactly did you think was gonna happen? Donald Trump is an existential threat to our democracy and our most fundamental freedoms. Remember the chaos, the division, the attacks that took rights and liberties from the American people. We cannot allow that to happen again. You know, people asked me in El Paso, they said, you know, because I have a longstanding record on this issue, they said, well, do you think Trump um, is responsible for what happened? And I said, well, look, I mean, obviously he didn't pull the trigger, but he's certainly been tweeting out the ammunition. And why exactly would you be glad that he's okay? If someone is an existential threat to the country, then the government's typically trying to take them out so they're no longer a threat. That would almost suggest that you don't actually believe the things that you're saying and that you're only saying it in order to demonize Trump and keep power. What do you all think? Are they gonna keep trying to murder Donald Trump in order to rig the election in their favor to save democracy? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.